Today I'm here to show you how to assemble and disassemble your wine chime. These are the components. We're starting off with a glass base. We suggest you put this on a soft cloth or a towel so when you spin the base nothing scratches the bottom. We have a threaded assembly, the large metal cap which sits on top of the base. We have what we call a friction lock and the mast. The mast is what holds the tonal bar. The tonal bar will be supported in this hook. Here's a little skirt and a lock nut underneath. So to get started, you just take the threaded assembly, stick it through the middle of the cap, take the friction nut and just spin it on there a few turns, just a little bit to get it started, not too tight. Then take that and slide the whole thing into the, the glass vase, the base, and just gently thread that in. Now, once it starts to get snug, make sure you have it centered right on the top, just how you want it. Then snug it down a little bit more. And remember, this entire operation is finger tighten only. You don't need pliers or any tools to do this at all. Now, when your wine chime arrives at your door, it will be assembled to this point. This is what will come out of the package. All you'll need to do is thread on the mast, which goes right on here. Now you don't need to assemble or disassemble the wine chime every time you use it. If you've had water in it for a few days or flowers in it, you know, you just take it apart, wipe it out, put it back together, and uh, you're all ready to go.